Good morning, Bradley Charbonneau with Lycoma. This morning I'm going to go through some basic WordPress publishing tips. Uh, editing, publishing, add an image, add some text, add some text from Word, upload an image, uh, a page, and a post. I'll try to do it under 10 minutes. We ready? Here we go. We're at carolukenbach.com and I'm going to go add, I'll go over here to current properties and I'm going to go add a new property to her listings here. Uh, so I'm going to go. I'm logged in as, into WordPress over here. Here's the site, and here's the login over on the left. And I'm going to go over here and add a new post. I'll go into editing existing posts in a minute, but just I'm going to go over here and add a new post. So the first thing I want to do, so I don't forget, is to go down here and choose which category I'm in. This is properties current. So I, it, because otherwise it's going to be categorized uncategorized. So I'm going to go over here and give it a title. There we go. And then I'm going to go give it some text here. Some descriptive text for my body. Maybe a whole bunch. Maybe another paragraph. How's that? That's pretty good, right? While I'm you know what? I, I'm not going to go into advanced tips. First, I'm going to you know what? Let's publish it. I'll show you that in less than a minute, I'm going to publish uh, a new posting. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to Current Properties. So I may, I'm looking at the latest current properties. And there it is. So at the top of my current properties list, there's the latest property. Now let's add an image. I'm going to go over here to upper left. This, these, uh, this little bar of thumbnails here will let me add an image, add other things, media and stuff. I'm just going to add an image. And I'm gonna. I can choose to get it from a URL, something existing from my media library, or from my computer. I'm gonna go select files. This is now going onto my computer. I'm gonna go pick an image. It uploads it. I can give it a title, sort of from my reference. What is that all about? I can also give it a caption, which I can choose or not choose to have show up. But the title is most important. Then I'm going to go down. I can choose to have it link to a bigger image. I can have it link to somewhere else. See, that would be that one. Um, or link to you know, wh whatever. Link to something outside of this site. I'm going to have it linked to the file so it goes to the bigger image. Because down here, I'm going to make it left aligned. And I'm going to make a small one. It's just a thumbnail so it fits in this, in this sort of narrow layout we've got going here. And now I'm going to do insert into post. So I did that. It inserts into post. I'm going to go update over here to see what I've done. I can go back to the site and refresh. And there's my picture. And this even has a caption. If we decide I don't want a caption, go back here, click on the image, click on the edit image button, and get rid of my caption. And update that update the page, back refresh the page, and my caption is gone. I'm going to leave that. I don't want a caption. So there, we just uploaded an image. What happened up there? I lost the space. Now, what are some other basic things I can do? I can do some basic formatting here in WordPress. I can make that bold. I can come over here. I can make that italics. I can make a link to something else. I'm going to take that. I will use this little chain link I put in my URL, there's my favorite site, whatever.com. I'm going to go make this, because we're leaving my site, I'm going to make it a new window. I'm going to open it in a new window so my site stays, stays there for the visitor and they get to uh, the new site in a new window. Um, I'm not going to go into big detail here, but there are some formatting tricks that are really nice. Let's say I wanted this, this whole, uh, this sentence here highlighted in a different way. I can, behind the scenes, create heading styles that will do different things. So here it looks like it's black, dark, bigger, but in the style sheet I could say that heading 2 is something special. Heading 2 is, oh well, there you go, heading 2 is all caps, gray, and sort of smaller and a different font. So behind the scenes you can set that up so that I don't have to go manually in here and change this text to be 
uh, gray caps, all that stuff. In fact, I probably couldn't even do all of that with my limited set of buttons here. So that's a good thing to know. Uh, another quick bit of formatting fun, just for kicks, is let's say we want to do, there are, there's another highlight one like this, it's called block quote. So it's going to take that section and also based on the style sheet, it's going to make it uh, look a different way. But it's easier to use these uh, drop down style sheets here instead of trying to manually every single time doing what you want. Um, the style sheets are behind the scenes, uh, but they're pretty easy to work with <laughs> if you know what you're doing. Here, so this one, the block quote made it italicized, um, gray, and indented. So that's what that one did. So let's say we want it to, you know, let's give it a background color of gray. Let's make the text white and italics Times New Roman 14 point. Great, so behind the scenes we tell the style sheet block, block quote should have all of those uh, features. And then all you would need to do behind the scenes is make that into a block quote. What else can we do? Also important for RSS feeds and other things are, I'm going to go copy this little bit of intro text here, and I'm going to put it down into my excerpt. The excerpt shows up uh, sometimes in Google searches, also depending on how you work your site and show up in your RSS feed. Uh, it's just good to have an excerpt. At trackbacks we don't need to worry about custom fields either. In fact I'm not going to worry about any of this stuff down here because it's all sort of WordPress class number 102 and this is basics 101 editing. Uh, what else? We could, th There's your basic sort of Word, Microsoft Word type formatting buttons here that I'm not going to really go into anymore. So I'm going to update this, see what we've done. I think we've seen it all here actually. I'll go refresh this page. We have uploaded an image. We did some bold. We did some italics. We did a heading three. We did a link. We did a block quote. And there we go. Ah, one more thing. Uh, let's say I'm down here and I want to go paste some text in from Word. Here's my Word document, and I could copy and back to WordPress. Now, if I just paste right here, let me show you what's going to happen. You're not going to think this is terribly important, but what's going to happen is, okay, it didn't happen. <laughs> but what could happen is this text gets really nasty Microsoft Word formatting. And in fact, I'm sort of surprised it didn't happen. Because it usually does. So if you paste from Word, that's, that could be the danger. Let me show you the better way to, to prevent that, that danger. Instead, I'm going to use this Paste From Word button up here. I click on that, and now in here I'm going to do my pasting. Then I do my insert. It keeps my formatting. It's bold and italics. Here is bold in all caps. But behind the scenes, it still looks nice and clean. The other way you would see a, a page long of junky, yucky code that would screw things up. I, I'll update here. In fact, this paste from Word button can save you a lot of headache if you do a lot of pasting from Word. So there's our text. That, were, that came in nicely. And we're done. So I am now going to go over here and edit posts. And I'm going to move this one to the trash because it wasn't real. And this is where I can now go edit any any other posts on the site. I'll go edit here, 237944. And here I could take this, I could uh, change the description here. Or for example, let's say this house was sold. I could make it not a property current, but a property, where to go? Sold. I think that's a subcategory of properties. This is down here for some reason. So that's how I would move it from one place to the other. I'm going to keep it properties current because I'm not sure what the status is of this post. So that's where we'd come in here and change existing posts. Those are posts. Posts are categorized by categories right there. Where I would find something like what's over here about Carol is a page which is over here. And pages, I'm not going to click on it, but basically you get in here and edit pages just like you would posts. I'm going to stop because I see I'm almost at 10 minutes. This is Bradley Sharp and Lee Coma signing off quickly. Under 10 minutes, a little WordPress. Bye-bye.